Well, hello, and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Brian, and uh, I'm a crapshooter. And I'm going to produce a series of these. I've already produced a series of videos, which most of you probably have already watched, uh, on how to play the game of craps and some of the, the basic systems that are out there. But there are a ton of different ways of playing. I've been playing craps for over 30 years. And I would like to take this opportunity to impart a bit of my knowledge on, on uh, some of you who are maybe learning the game or thinking about playing it. Uh, I know there's going to be a lot of experienced crap shooters out there that are going to uh, say that's a load of hogwash uh, or not be interested and that's fine. Turn me off. I don't care. Now the first section that we're going to talk about at this point is on the don't betters. Don't betting is one of my favorite ways to play, um, even though uh, a lot of people who play the game of craps don't like playing the don't side of the dice, because you're essentially betting against the shooter. So when everybody else at the table is hooting and hollering and yelling uh, and into a hot roll, you're sitting there quietly waiting for your opportunity to place your bets. Now, the number one th mistake I've seen done on don't betting and that is people that follow a don't bet into a hole because they feel that it's got to happen that this shooter is going to seven out and yes all shooters do seven out eventually but I've seen don't betters place a bet out lose it to a shooter that hits a point place another bet out lose it to a seven put another bigger bet out lose it to an eleven put another bigger bet out lose it to another seven put an even bigger bet out. The shooter hits a point and then hits the point and knocks them out again. I've seen people drop thousands of dollars doing this, figuring that it, he cannot keep shooting the numbers. But they can for a while and enough to wipe out your bankroll. So the biggest number one point of advice that I would give to a don't shooter is be patient. If a shooter knocks out your don't bet sit back and wait for the next shooter. Now that shooter might knock it out as well, but what you're hoping for is to get on a trend, and trends do happen at the table. You do get into a don't trend where shooter after shooter hits uh, uh, the point or hits one or two numbers and then sevens out, and it will happen. It always happens eventually. So that's what you're waiting for. So biding your time, saving your money, and betting only on, on a shooter until he knocks you out. Once he's knocked you out, you sit back and wait for the next shooter and then jump on the don't side again. That is my number one piece of advice and we'll be talking more about the don't shooters and some of the better ways to play and some of the not so better ways to play in future. So my videos are not going to be really slick. They're going to be more of a one-on-one -on -one talking to you, but hopefully you'll take the opportunity to view them and say you like them. Thank you very much, and we'll be talking to you soon.